hey guys this is joy i am back again with another video welcome welcome so i'm going to be doing the reading for scorpio sun moon rising and venus all right so let's see what messages we can get for scorpios for the march the 16th through the 31st see what messages and what guidance we can get so some of you guys could be doing some soul searching a lot of you guys could have completed cycles, like a karmic cycle, or, you know, maybe there was a lesson you had to learn in a relationship. I'm getting that a lot of you guys learned that. I'm getting some of you guys could have definitely walked away from a relationship and you felt like that was a victory or this is, could be someone you're dealing with or cross watcher. Maybe you walked away from a Scorpio and you felt like that was a victory. All right. So we're going to be getting the message for the recent past. The present energy, the future energy, your challenge, your potential outcome. If any of you guys would like an extended reading, go ahead and follow the, the procedures in the description box below. If any of you guys would like a personal or a private reading, go ahead and send me an email and I would love to do your reading for you. Forty-five. I have 15 minute readings, 45 minute readings, um, 15 minute readings, 30 minute readings and 45 minute readings. All right. And in those readings, we talk about, you know, any questions you might have in regards to your current relationship or if you're single, you want to see what's in store for you um, in 2020. Or if you want to see what's going on in your marriage, is your partner cheating? Are they being faithful? You know, if you have any of those kind of questions, I'd love to do a reading for you. So um, this is the sun card here. This is the, sun, the sun card. So I feel like something is being illuminated to you. Um, you're seeing something clearly or some of you guys are, you know, feeling abundant around this time. A lot of you guys might be feeling happy. Maybe um, I'm getting that you could be holding on to your money around this time. Some of you guys might be pen penny pension. I'm just saying <laughs> you might be dealing with the tours. Um, you might be holding on to a tours or you could be holding back from a situation. I'm getting that um, you guys might be feeling a little stuck about a situation. Maybe. You could have been refusing to see something clearly, but now it's like you have no alternative. Now you see something clear. It's again, it's been illuminated with the sun card. And some of you guys are changing your perspective on a situation. Piscean energy. So let's see what's going on here in the messages. Okay. Some of you guys might be dealing with the Virgo. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, like yourself, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Cups, Pentacles, Swords. So we got everybody on the board here. So I'll show you the cards that we got. So we got the Ace of Pentacles in a reverse for the recent past. We have the Ten of Cups here presently with the um, present energy. Can uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Knight of Swords here for the future energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Knight of Wands here for the future and for the uh, potential outcome here. With the Knight of Wands. So... Somebody could have felt like they was um, someone was being sneaky, but somebody might be wanting to heal a situation or someone is going to be getting their wishes fulfilled around this time. But um, somebody could have been trying to protect themselves. Maybe they felt like they missed an opportunity or, you know, something wasn't stable. Something wasn't solid in their recent past. So now someone could feel like they have their guards up. They could not. They um, Scorpios, you guys know that you don't really trust people like that. So a lot of you guys are usually on guard usually defensive around others so this makes sense here but somebody might be trying to come towards you quickly and trying to tell you something maybe or this could be you doing this all right why is this um ace of pentacles in a reverse in a recent past maybe you guys could have felt like there was an opportunity that didn't go in your favor or you lost something financially or there was a foundation that wasn't stable or something like that. Or you could have been dealing with this kind of person, a uh, Virgo. I'm getting that some of you guys were at a crossroads, um, needing to make a decision and needing to take control over a situation. 
why do we have these cards here? You guys were like maybe in between a rock and a hard place, maybe about an Aries or um, a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. You could have been dealing with a father figure. This could have been you. You might have Aries in your chart, Scorpio. This could have something to do with work, too. Maybe you felt like the work wasn't really good or it wasn't solid. Um, the Queen of Wands. I'm getting that a lot of you guys were driven and maybe you was needing to make a decision. Maybe you decided to leave an opportunity or leave a foundation or something and you were passionately, you took action towards it or something like that. Or you could have been dealing with the Queen of Wands energy here. You were at a crossroads about this female figure, potentially. Maybe something with this person wasn't solid or stable. Or Let's see. Why is this Ten of Cups here for the present energy? Something about family or friends or maybe a home. There's my heat turning on again, y'all. <laughs> Yes, yeah, somebody could have, um, someone could be waiting for something to come in at a distance. You could be dealing with someone that's far from you, maybe family members or a partner that's far from you. You're waiting to receive something. You're waiting to seize an opportunity. You could have broken free from a foundation. Maybe that made you happy. I'm not sure. Let's see. You guys know your situations. Yeah, it could have been somebody from your past, but now you're not looking back anymore. Now you're waiting for something else. Maybe you were reminiscing in the past, but maybe you're not doing that anymore. Yeah, it could have been due to some sort of deception, but you're wanting to end that. Why is this Knight of Swords here? What is Somebody's trying to come towards you swiftly. They could be a little angry. It could be an air sign, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, but... Um, Maybe there's no communication right now with the Eight of Wands. Maybe there was like miscommunication. Let's see. Yeah, there's some sort of secrets that's gonna be coming out here. Maybe somebody has to tell you something. Or somebody was not using their intuition. Okay, maybe it's in regards to a relationship. Maybe an empress, so a child's mother. And this might break your heart. Or somebody's getting over some sort of past pain or heartbreak or a relationship. Maybe that's what they're... You might not be in communication with someone. Maybe somebody could have been dealing with... This could be you, Scorpio, or the cross watcher. You might have had a connection with someone, whether it's a relationship, friendship, partnership, business, whatever. Somebody wasn't using their intuition and they realized that this caused them heartbreak. And this caused them to maybe miss an opportunity or somebody could have, God forbid, maybe somebody lost a child, hopefully not. But maybe somebody wanted to go and start a new beginning, but there was a delay. Maybe somebody wants to come back and rush towards you quickly. Maybe they feel like they lost you. Maybe they feel hurt by this or you feel hurt by the Scorpio, vice versa. But there's some there there's no communication right now. Maybe somebody wants to be married to you or you could be married to this person now. Maybe you this person hurt you and now they want to come towards you fast, but maybe you guys are giving each other the silent treatment right now. Maybe there could have been a child's mother that got involved or a child's father that got involved. Somebody wasn't using their intuition, but there's some sort of secrets that's coming out. Yeah, somebody wasn't revealing their emotions either with the King of Cups. This is Scorpionic energy here. And this could have made someone angry. This could have made you angry or someone else angry. Why is the King of Cups in the reverse and the Ace of Swords in the reverse? Maybe that's why somebody's going to be having their guards up. Why is this King of Cups here? Let's see. All right. Why is this here? Why? Is, okay. 
Yeah, it's in regards to a, a friendship or a partnership here. Someone wasn't speaking their feelings about a relationship. Someone could have loved you and they didn't tell you. And now maybe they're angry or you're angry. And that's why someone has their guards up right now. Or they will have their guards up. It's too many. Why is this Knight of Wands here? What's the potential outcome? Or someone could feel like a wounded warrior. Yeah, um, I have a match here. A Queen of Cups and a King of Cups is in a reverse. Now someone is seeing the situation clearly. Maybe someone is going to be revealing their emotions to you, but they're still guarded at the same time. I did get the star, so someone still needs to do some healing. Someone might have lost some faith and hope in, like, the secrets are going to be coming out. There's something going to be revealed, but somebody definitely wants to reconcile. There could have been a third party, though. Why is the Queen of Cups here, the star in the reverse, the Two of Swords in the reverse with the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, someone wants to take a leap of faith, but they're coming towards you slowly. Someone wants to take a risk with you. Yeah, and they're holding on to you. They're holding on to this connection. So let's take this over to the extended. Let's see what's going to happen. What is this person going to say to you? We're going to see when they're going to communicate, what exactly they're communicating. Um, what's blocking this connection? What else is hidden in this connection? What is this person's intentions? What advice can we get from spirit in the universe? What, does, what do the romance angels have to say? And if you're single, if you're not dealing with anyone, maybe you could have been dealing with someone from your past where there was a lot of deception and now you're single and this person might be trying to come back around towards you and you're just like, no, I'm done. Maybe you didn't use your intuition before and now you're like, I'm over this. Now this person might be wanting to come back to express their emotions and it's like you're taking a risk elsewhere. And they're trying to stop you or something. So we'll see in the extended. Let's see what's going on here. We'll get some recommended advice. Like I said, I offer 15-minute readings, 45-minute readings, and 30-minute readings. That information is on my website as well as in the description box. The sun, yeah, something's gonna be illuminated. Yeah, somebody's getting over some sort of anxiety. Somebody have, you might have anxiety or this person has anxiety. But I'm getting that there's gonna be some sort of victory. You guys are gonna get victory here. Scorpionic energy. We got the garden and the gate. We got the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. We have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. And the sun. So yeah, something's going to make you happy regardless. Whether you're in a connection with someone, you're single, you were dealing with them presently, recently, or you will be. You're going to be crossing over to the other side and it's going to make you happy. You guys are going to either you're going to restart a connection with someone. You're going to go on a whole new path. Um, but I'm getting it's going to work out regardless. But someone has their guards up. Somebody might need to let their guards down. It's like, let this person in, maybe. Yeah. So that's what I have for you, Scorpios. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to follow me to the extended, let me know, and I will send you your extended reading. Um, if this was enough, then wonderful. I'll see you in April. Bye, guys.